Hello here from Zephyr War Games, bringing you uh, our second part of the budget build. Uh, as you can see before you, Lunar Lights. So Lunar Lights is another deck that I feel that can be uh, easily built for thirty pound or less and can still be highly competitive. So without further ado, we'll crack straight into this. Uh, the thirty pound also includes the extra deck. So we'll go straight through these. Um, free Lunar Light Blue Cat. Now Lunar Light Blue Cat, um, basically if this card is special summoned, you can target one Lunar Light monster you control, except Blue Cat, its attack becomes double its original attack until the end of this turn. You can only use the effect of Lunar Light Blue Cat once per turn. If this card on the field is destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, you can special summon one Lunar Light monster from your deck. So uh, Blue Cat circles quite nicely around with uh, Tiger, because Tiger has kind of the same effect that when it's destroyed, um, by battle or card effect, you can target a Lunar Light monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So when we get to those, you'll see, you'll see the circle around. So yeah, free Lunar Light Blue Cat, free uh, Lunar Light White Rabbit. So when this card is normal summoned, you can target one Lunar Light monster in your graveyard, except White Rabbit, special summon it in defense position. Once per turn, you can target spell or trap cards your opponent controls, up to the number of other Lunar Light cards you control, return them to the hand. So it's a nice little kind of compulsive back row. Uh, and White Rabbit uh, couples quite well with Lunar Light Black Sheep. So basically, Black Sheep is you can discard this card to activate one of these effects. Add one Lunar Light monster from your graveyard to the hand, except Black Sheep, or add one Poly from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard as fusion material for a fusion summon, you can add it to your hand. Uh, you can add to your hand one face up Lunar Light Pendulum monster from your extra deck, or Lunar Light monster from your graveyard, except Black Sheep. So basically the idea is, if you have sheep and rabbit in hand, you discard sheep, get a poly, normal white, bring back black. Um, you can then overlay if you really want to, but you've got the poly in hand. So you activate the poly, you poly these two, you get out Lunar Light Cat Dancer, and then sheep lets you take rabbit back to hand. So that's just one of the small combos that you can do. And obviously if you open up with fusion recoveries, polys, so on and so forth, and you just keep building. And then hopefully the idea is that you go from cat to panther straight into Leo, which can be done first turn. You just have to open up with the right hand. So when we get to the extra deck, I'll explain what Leo, panther, and cat do, and then you'll understand how it's how they kind of run. Uh, you then play free Lunar Light Tiger. So, like I said before, its monster effect is if it's destroyed on by battle or card effect, you can target one Lunar Light monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Uh, its pendulum effect is, once per turn you can target one Lunar Light monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but it cannot attack, its effects are negated, and it's destroyed during the end phase. So, with Lunar Lights, you, you very rarely pendulum summon. It's not really about the pendulum summon, it's more about put, getting the, the effects in scales, which is why, obviously, we have two Lunar Light Wolf. Now, Lunar Light Wolf's on-field effect, if a Lunar Light monster you control attacks the defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Pretty straightforward standard. However, it's its pendulum effect that is the main, uh, the main thing with this deck. Um, and I only run it at 2 because it can get quite cloggy at 3. But basically you get this, this one out, put it into your scale, and you cannot pendulum summon monsters except Lunar Light monsters. The effect, uh, this effect cannot be negated. Once per turn, you can fusion summon one Lunar Light Fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from the field or graveyard. So the idea is, you poly, let's say, Sheep and Rabbit. Poly Sheep and Rabbit, you get straight into Cat Dancer. You can then use Wolf's Effect to banish both sh uh, Sheep and Rabbit and get a second Cat Dancer out. Or you banish Cat Dancer from the field and you banish one from the graveyard, and you go straight into Panther. So Wolf is your third poly, basically, first style of poly in the deck. So you have poly, you have fusion recovery, and then you have Lunar Light Wolf, so you just keep circling your stuff around. Um, and then I play one Lunar Light Purple Butterfly. I did have it at two. You could obviously swap out for Wolf if you want to, but this is basically in there until Crimson Fox comes out, if it ever comes out, because it's obviously it's a promo from the OCG. Um... But yeah, so Lunar Light Pro, uh, Butterfly is basically you discard it. Um, you, sorry, you send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and target one Lunar Light monster you control. It gains a thousand attack until the end of the turn. You can balance this card from your graveyard, special summon one Lunar Light monster from your hand. So it kind of couples well to get Wolf out. 
But like I said, you don't really want wolf out. You want it in your scale, and then it, it, you play it at two because if your opponent pops your wolf, um, you can then go into butterfly. Uh, you get butterfly, banish it, and special summon your wolf from hand if need be. So yeah, that's it for the monsters. Now onto the spells. Uh, now the new addition to the deck is Lunar Light Perfume. It's basically their personal monster reborn. Target one Lunar Light monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then discard one card, add a Lunar Light monster from your deck to your hand. So it's a searcher uh, and a monster reborn. I only play it at two um, because when you're playing the wolf one, you want to be banishing your stuff. Um, and the monster reborn is kind of like if your Leo's in there or anything like that. I just felt free was a little bit cloggy. But I play two Call of the Haunted and two Lunar Light Perfumes. So, I mean, by all means, you could drop a cooldown for another perfume. Um, obviously, talking about the budget ride, all this stuff is commons from Shining Victories. So, I, you know, a fiver to get all of this at max. Uh, I wouldn't pay any more than that. Perfumes, because they just came out in um, Dark Illusions, they're about 50p each because they're supers. Uh, we play three polys. Again, polys are cheap in common. Um, Everyone knows what polymerization does. You fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or side of the field as fusion material. Two fusion recovery is probably the kind of the relatively most expensive card in the deck. Um, it's about three or so quid. Uh, but you target one poly in your graveyard and one fusion monster that was used for a fusion summon in your graveyard and add that to your hand. So you just recycle your poly. So the combo is you open up with poly and fusion recovery, activate poly, get whatever monster out you it. Bring Fusion Recovery back, activate your poly, and you just circle through your stuff. And then if you have Wolf, you're then straight into a Leo. So, there's that. We run... I did... Oh, sorry, I will just say, I did have that free. Again, a little bit cloggy. You do want to see it early, but I didn't think you need it now that you've got the Monster Reborn on board. Uh, free Fire Formation Tanky. Again, this could easily be dropped to two, and then you can bump up the Fusion Recovery. It's all about personal preference. Uh, again, this is relatively cheap. Ignore the ulti. Obviously, that's not going to be. But you can pick up supers and golds for 50p to a pound. And basically, it lets you search out. You add one level 4 or lower Beast Warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. And all Beast Warrior monsters you control gain 100 attack. So, quite straightforward on that one. Two Lord of Darkness. Now, obviously, this has been bumped up to three. Um, yes, this is relatively expensive. You can probably pick up a common for about four to five pounds. Maybe cheaper if you know the right person. Um, and obviously the OT, um, the tournament pack that this came in as well is relatively cheap. Um, so you activate Laura Darnish. You can have it at three if you want. I just think two is kind of the right the right build. Um, and then you all your lunar lights are darks apart from Wolf and Tiger. So you just search in, uh, constantly drawing. Two fusion tag. Now this card is quite good. Um, it confused a bit a few people when it first came up. But basically you target one monster you control, reveal fusion monster in your extra deck. And if you do, the targeted monster's name can be treated as the revealed fusion monster uh, if it's used for a fusion summon this turn. So th the idea is that you reveal Panther Dancer. Reveal Panther Dancer, turn whatever monster you've got on board into a Panther Dancer, and then you can skip straight into uh, Leo. Or obviously you can reveal it as Cat Dancer and skip straight into a Panther Dancer. So it just lets you skip that ability because, so for the extra deck, in order to get into Panther, you need to you need Lunar Light Cat Dancer, and then obviously in, to get into Leo, you need Lunar Light Panther Dancer just by name. So Fusion Tag is a way around that. Two MSTs for back rows, obviously by all means you can play Twin Twisters. Um, like I said, there's some decks that I play that I want to be top decking. Since the reprint, Twin Twisters are still relatively cheap, but again, MSTs, Dirt Cheap, 50p's, Fusion Tags, 50p's. You can probably pick up MSTs for free if you have a really good friend. Uh, one Dark Hole instead of Regeki, because this is more budget than Regeki. Just does just as good a job. Um, so, again, pick up a Call of Horn for free. Um, or, if you've got a really good friend, dirt cheap. And then one barrel from a different dimension. Again, really cheap because it was in... Um, I can't remember what it was. One, the one with the neck cross deck. Uh, the neck short card, sorry. <laughs> but basically, this card, again, works really well with your wolf. So your wolf banishes everything. You get out the fusion monster. You activate this, bring them all back. Um, and you're set to go next turn. So you activate this in your opponent's end phase, something like that, and you're good to go. Uh, that's it for the spells. Now onto the traps. Two Lunar Light um, Reincarnation Dance. Now I did have this at three. I've dropped it to two because obviously the search effect of the perfume. So if a monster, so just any monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add two Lunar Light monsters from your deck to your hand. 
can only activate one of these per turn. So it just helps you get into, if, you, if you've got a full grave and you haven't got a wolf, it helps you get your wolf, it helps you get your uh, blue cat, your rabbit, uh, anything you really need. Um, two Quake and Mirror Forces, again, they're still relatively cheap, so those are 10 P's each, maybe less. Quake and Mirror Forces, a couple of quid, four quid here or there, maybe. Uh, Call of the Haunted, dirt cheap again, uh, and then one Bottomless Trap Hole, again, really cheap. Uh, that you can put in Solemn Warnings if you want. Again, I personally think that this whole deck, I mean, all the monsters you can probably pick up for a five or less. The spells, um, apart from the Allures and the Fusion Recoveries, probably about a tenner. Um, maybe less, so that's about £15 there, straight away, and then all of these, again, if you if you find the right place, you can probably pick up Quakings for a few quid each, so let's say another 6 quid, so we're on £26 just on there, now the extra deck is nowhere near going to cost you that much, I mean, let's go straight for it, so Cat Dancers, cheap, um, basically this card needs two Lunar Light Monsters, cannot be destroyed by battle. Once per turn during your main phase, one, you contribute one half of a Lunar Light Monster for the rest of this turn. The first time each monster you or opponent controls would be destroyed by battle, it is not destroyed. Also this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls twice each uh, this turn. If this card declares an attack, inflict 100 damage to your opponent. So the idea is, Cat Dancer attacks, burns them for 100, then does damage then gets to attack them again, so you're doubling up your damage every single turn. Um, free Panther Dancer, now these are a few quid each, but again, you can probably get the playset for four quid, so that's kind of your budget there. Um, and like I said, we rounded up on the deck, I still think you can buy the whole core easily with an extra deck for less than £30. So this one needs Lunar Light Cat Dancer, which is where Fusion Tag comes in, and stuff like that. So must be Fusion Summoned with the above Fusion Materials, cannot be um, destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Once per turn during your main phase, you can activate this effect. For the rest of this turn, the first time each monster your opponent controls will be destroyed by battle, it is not destroyed. Also, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls twice each this turn. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, this card gains two, uh, two? Yeah, 200 attack until the end of the battle phase. So, the idea is you beat over the weak ones, doing damage, and then beef this up to hit over the stronger ones, and just keep going and keep going and keep going. Um, two Lunalight Leo Dancers again, dirt cheap card. Um, it needs Panther Dancer and two Lunalight Monsters, which is again Fusion Tag and so on and so forth. Must be Fusion Tag, um, someone with the above materials cannot be special on by other ways. Cannot be targeted um, or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Once per turn at the end of the damage set, if this card attacked a monster, you can destroy all special summon monsters your opponent controls. So if your opponent is constantly pumping out special summons, you just attack one defeat it, and then blow up the field. That's it. And then you go again and do 35 direct. Again, I did have this at 3. I dropped it down to 2 because it's, it's harder to get into, but it can still be done. So by all means, you can bump that up. But I've choose to go on with um, an XYZ engine. So we've got Gaga, Cowboy, Castell, uh, Bistweller, and 101. So they're kind of like the staple rank 4s. Uh, I've got two Sky Cavalier Centuria, perfectly because obviously Rabbit brings back um, Sheep and you just go straight into this guy and it helps stall out the game a little bit. Uh, and then I've got a one Red Eyes Metal Flare because if it's late game and you can pull out two cats, you just go to, straight into the cats into the Red Eyes Flare um, and then just sit on it and let your opponent burn themselves out. Now obviously you could put in an XYZ for your two Leos and you could be an XYZ for your Panther Dancers but... Once you hit the Panther Dancer stage, you're only really going to be pushing for Leo. Um, and like I said, if you get stuck on the Cat Dancer stage, um, you go straight into Realize Flare just to burn your opponent out. So yeah, that's it for the Lunar Light deck. Uh, that's part two as well of our budget build. I will be trying to bring you um, a deck each day um, that I believe you can make easily for under £30. I have checked the prices on eBay and that's kind of around the area that we're going for if you find the right place to go for it uh, and they are competitive as well I'm not bringing you decks that I don't think can put up a challenge I mean they're not going to be top meta but they're still going to cause certain decks out there a bit of trouble and a bit of issues so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share also check out the link in the description below for our mega pack 2016 giveaway uh, all you have to do for that is like the video 
subscribe to the channel and then share the video of the uh, Mega Tin opening. Uh, and it's as simple as that. And then you can win one of six Mega Packs and two promos from the tins as well. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And as always, happy dooling.